Okay, so uh, today we are gonna be, I guess, showcasing the new Dokkan Festival exclusive Fizz Raditz, along with his side unit, which is this STR Nappa, and also the 200% Saiyan Saga slash Space Traveling Warriors team as well. Now, at this point, if you guys haven't had the privilege of pulling Raditz and testing him out for yourselves, then you must have at least heard a lot of different things about this guy from other people out there. And I would guess that most of those things were, you know, not the most positive because there's definitely uh, a lot of people out there who are not a big fan of this unit. There's definitely been a lot of criticism for his kit, for his design, his damage or their lack of, his defense, and all that good stuff. So in today's video, we're going to find out once and for all if all of that uh, negativity, all the hate, all the criticism is actually justified. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it and uh, we are on the GT Legendary Goku event on this first rotation. We have both Raditzes, actually triple Raditzes, the two Fizz Raditz and also the STR Giant Ape Raditz. So the friend here is actually Rainbowed. Um, I don't know who this madman is, but thank you for letting me use your Rainbow Raditz. And uh, we're starting with 141k defense for the friend, 134k for mine. And keep in mind, this is under 200% leader skills. So those defense stats are not the greatest, but Raditz does get uh, quite a bit more defense after he attacks. So um, he's a pretty decent slot 2 slash slot 3 unit, I would say, but not great in the first slot so with that said we're gonna keep the friend in the first slot we're gonna give him a super and uh, let's see what he can do here we go rainbow raditz first turn oh my god okay i was really hoping this um wouldn't happen i mean what are the chances but we do take a super immediately and it hurt a lot that was rough. That was rough. Um, I actually missed the attack stat. I'm gonna guess it was maybe around 3.5 to 4 mil. Uh, the funny thing is the giant ape raditz probably hit harder <laughs> than the the Dokkan Fest raditz. But um, yeah, that was just the first turn. You know, we still got a lot of time. So before you form any concrete opinions keep watching so we have the str nappa on this rotation and as you can see his defense is actually really good but this isn't even uh his max potential you know because this guy can get up to i want to say 400 to 450k on this team at 55 percent which is what my nappa is at but it's dependent on your remaining hp so since we took a lot of damage last turn, we're down to roughly 65% HP. He lost a lot of his defense, right? But if we were at full HP, then he'd be even more tanky. But 252k, honestly, for a 55% unit is not bad at all. So why don't we... Um, let me think here. Maybe we should actually keep the two Vegetas together. I think that's a good good plan because uh, we need to stack this guy and obviously this Vegeta is just a beast so uh, I'm gonna put the giant ape Vegeta in the first slot let's just give one orb to the other Vegeta and then I guess Nappa's not supering not a huge deal he really doesn't do that much damage okay so we have oh my god <laughs> we have the giant ape Vegeta who is at 69% uh, I believe and some good damage there and hopefully we can get two supers off with the Fizz Vegeta that would be ideal come on okay no additional don't super me please 
Thank you. And we're good. Okay, we're good. So back to this rotation and um let me think here. So I could put the Fizz Radis in the first slot again, but since we took a super, we got debuffed, right? So our defense is actually really, really low. And if I get supered again, then I think we might actually die. So what I'm gonna do is Yeah, put the STR Raditz in the first slot, and then we'll get a super off with the Fizz Raditz. And that should kill the uh, GT Goku. Okay, so luckily I did put the STR Raditz in the first slot. So at the very least, we didn't take that much damage. Because I think we would have died <laughs> if we put the, uh, the Fizz Raditz in the first slot. Okay, so attack stat wise, a much better turn here. That was actually some decent damage. That was actually approaching modern unit standards. Right? And the reason that happened is because, in case you guys didn't know, the uh, the Raditz gets a pretty big attack buff when you're facing a single enemy whose HP is 50% or less, right? So, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. We got, what, 5.6 mil, I think? Which, uh, once again, like I said, man, it, it's getting closer to like like a normal unit for today's standards. Okay, so this is actually a bit of a tough turn because I don't want to put the Fizz Vegeta in the first slot, but I also don't want to put him in the second slot with all those, all those attacks. So I think I'm gonna just have to risk it and hope that the AGL Goku doesn't super us, um, you know, in the first slot. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I can't get a super off with the Raditz either, which is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. We'll see how it goes. Um, additional super for the Vegeta maybe. Thank you, perfect. Raising that defense, stacking that defense, getting more tanky, that's what we need. Beautiful. So now if we're gonna get supered, hopefully it's the Tech Vegeta. That gets supered because he is gonna tank like nothing. You know, it's gonna be fine. But if uh, the Raditz gets supered, I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. Okay, hopefully Raditz killed. Oh no. Well, I mean, that wasn't actually that much damage. We actually didn't take that much damage. That was. That was okay. That was okay. Good job. Okay, so now. We have the pairing of the friend Rainbow Raditz and the uh, STR Nappa, and we're up to 161k defense. Okay, not too shabby. <laughs> not too shabby. Trying to stay positive here. And, you know, maybe Goku wants to be nice and just not super us in the first slot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and the 6.7 mil. That's a good look. Once again, enemy is under 50% HP, so we're getting 100% more attack. So that was actually some good damage right there, guys. That was some good damage. Who said, yo, Fizz Raditz can't do damage? Who said Fizz Raditz can't do damage, man? He, he is doing some pretty good damage, in my opinion. Okay, so uh, on this... This turn, I think we can get away with not using an item, but I kind of feel like maybe we should pop a Princess Snake just to be safe because the Fizz Vegeta is actually not that tanky yet. And then the uh, LR Nappa and Vegeta is okay, but I don't really trust them. So yeah, I think this is a good call. I think that that Princess Snake was a good call. And uh, it also allows us to hopefully get to the next turn with a good amount of defense. Oh, sorry, a good amount of HP remaining so that the Nappa can get, you know, more defense on his passive and get around like the 350 to uh, 400k mark that I know he's capable of getting. Okay, Fizz Vegeta, once again, we need two supers here. I'm gonna need two supers from you. Well, it's a good thing we used the Princess Snake. <laughs> I'll say that. It's a good thing we popped the Princess Snake. 
Okay, so on the bright side, if uh, we got supered this turn, we're probably not going to get supered again next turn. Or rather, uh, you know, on this turn, on this rotation. And as you can see, Nafa now up to 354k defense. I have seen him higher, I think, linked with the Nappa and Vegeta. But that's still pretty good. 350k, I think, is not too shabby. And the friend Raditz actually has his active skill, which can be activated after taking three or more hits. Um, I think I'm going to save it for the Fizz Goku. So... Sorry, not Fizz Goku, the Int in Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So let's save that. Let's get another super for the Raditz. And once again... Guys, we're getting that 100% attack buff because the enemy is under 50% HP. So we're looking at 6.7 mil once again. 6.7 mil once again. Now, uh, in case you guys didn't know, keep in mind that the Nappa is actually a really good support unit. Um, he's giving about 40% attack and defense to the Raditz. So that does, you know, make a big difference in his damage output, right? Okay, so now we're going to see a giant ape battle. We got the golden great ape versus my giant ape Raditz, which uh, is a good time. I always love these transformations. <laughs> Honestly, I just wish like he did more damage in the giant ape form because it's nice to be immortal. It's nice to not take damage, but we're not going to do much damage back. So it's not really that useful to be honest the good thing is we are eating up you know a super here and there so I guess that is definitely a benefit but I just wish he did more damage man I just wish we were able to like hurt him a little bit more in this form like we're gonna get him down like two bars I guess at most maybe maybe two and a half if we're lucky yeah, if we get the additionals, uh, yeah, maybe two and a half health bars in the giant ape form. But I guess it's better than nothing. I guess it's better than nothing. And I'm really concerned, actually, about, uh, you know, going back to to, to the, you know, non-great uh, ape rotations because we got quite a few fizz units. Oh, we're getting three turns. I thought it was only two turns. Okay, three turns. That's good. Yeah, like I said, man. Once we go back, it might be a problem because we got three Fizz units on this team. And they would all take a lot of damage. I mean, the Radices, after they super, maybe could do okay. The Vegeta is still not tanking enough. I don't really know why I brought him. Oh, I know why. I know why. I brought him because there are very few options for Saiyan Saga and Space Traveling Warriors. So I had to bring the um, the Fizz Vegeta just to have a full team, really. That was the main thing. Okay, uh, do we need an item here? We probably, we probably do. Yeah, I think we probably do. So let's, uh, let's uh, break up the two Vegetas for now just cause you know what we don't I don't think we need an item what we really need is just to not have the Fizz Vegeta take any attacks which he's not going to be here and this should be okay Raditz should hi uh, hold his own eh yeah kind of and uh, let's just let the Fizz Vegeta you know keep building that defense very slowly very gradually okay so Man, I love Giant Ape Vegeta, I gotta say. I know he doesn't get the most love, especially compared to the... To the... What do you call it? Um, compared to the... Kaioken Goku. But he's really solid, man. He's, he's actually really, really solid. And that, tw uh, that 18k super is attack all, right? So, like, with that much attack stat... I mean, if we're talking about, like, Super Battle Road, he's destroying everything. Like, he's just clearing the enemy field by himself for the most part okay so we're back to this rotation now um nap in the first slot for sure nap in the first slot for sure 345k defense very good and then i'm trying to think if i want to give an item to, to to raditz or just pop an item for raditz 
or if I should trust him. I'ma trust him. I'ma trust him. I'ma say he's not gonna let us get, get killed. He's not gonna let us die. That is my prediction. <laughs> okay, this should be fine. 144k. I mean, it could've been worse. It could've been a lot worse. And uh, yeah, once again, gonna be good damage because he's under 50%. So, yo, for the past couple of turns, Raditz has actually been looking really good. Raditz has been looking really, really solid. I gotta say, guys. I gotta say, he's not really disappointing. <laughs> he's not disappointing. Okay, um, this turn, I'm gonna actually keep my Fizz Raditz in rotation. Uh, oh. Well, it looks like we're not gonna get a super off. Oh, no, oh, no, never mind, we did, we did. My mistake, I miscounted. And I am going to pop a Whis because I don't trust the uh, other Raditz at the end. But let's see what kind of damage my Fizz Raditz uh, can do here. Uh, we haven't really seen you know this one as much because we've been so, so focused on the rainbow one this one is at 69% uh, so you know one dupe still not bad and I got him to about like midway links like level 5 level 6 so he's not um, too bad link wise either and just over 3 mil just over 3 mil okay uh, it's, not, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's not great. I gotta be honest with you. But it is an attack all super. So if you think about it, like, you know, in the context of Super Battle Road, for example, um, you would be hitting multiple units for 3 mil plus, or at least with 3 mil plus attack stat, right? So, in that case, it would be pretty good. Okay, let, we can actually pop the active skill here, which I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to skip it, though, because I want you guys to see the animation. So, let's get it, guys. Here we go. Rad its active skill. Let's see how much damage it can do. I'm going to say... I'm going to say a, a solid 5 mil. 4 or 5 mil. Close. Close. Okay, it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. But it, it's not that bad either. Not that bad either. Were we able to get him to below 50%? I think he is below 50%. He is below 50%. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Yo, Raditz is about to wreck Super Saiyan 4 Goku, actually. And the Dokkan attack. And we got the Dokkan attack. I kind of don't want the Dokkan attack because I want the this Vegeta at the end to do a couple more supers. But, hey man, you know what? We're, we're not here to showcase him. We're here to showcase the Raditz who is about to go off here with this Dokkan attack. Let's see it. Let's see it. 6.7 mil attack stat. Dokkan attack. This is gonna hurt, man. Not us. It's gonna hurt the Goku. This is gonna hurt the Goku. I mean, hey. <laughs> it's not too shabby. <laughs> it's not too shabby. Uh, of course, like I said, man. I'm trying to be positive here. Um, if I was being 100% like real, we have to pop the Whis here. We just have to. It's... uh necessary um he's not really that impressive he's not really that impressive i mean 6.7 mil is not a low number but you gotta keep in mind this is under sp very specific conditions you have to be facing one enemy that was terrible one enemy uh who's below 50 percent hp and that's the only time that you will see modern attack stats from Rad, it's like the 6.7 mil or you know whatever right but um hold on i think i'm gonna have to i should just give this one orb to the napa so that my Raditz can get a super wait no did i mess up 
Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, the whole point of doing that was just to get the Raditz a super attack. But, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if we just compare Fizz Raditz to, like, a lot of the more recent releases, uh, he's not good. He's not good. Like, I'm, I'm, it's not to say he's unusable. I think some people go too far with it. I think some people call him, like, the worst Dokkan Fest ever released or whatever, or, like, um, you know, worse than, uh, I don't know, a unit from three, four years ago, or whatever the case may be, which, you know, depending on what you know we're talking about with EZAs, like, might might be true it might be true like we see some easy a's these days from many years ago um like like older units from many years ago with recent easy a's doing much more damage getting much more defense and just overall being you know a lot more a lot more useful let's be honest a lot more useful but with that said um Raditz, I can definitely see him wrecking um, a little bit in, in Super Battle Road. I don't think he's the best choice for Super Battle Road, which is kind of sad because he's definitely meant to be a Super Battle Road unit. But even for that, he's not really, you know, like top three, I think, for Super Battle Road units. I would rather have uh, STR LR Broly um, or Fizz LR Cell. Or maybe even LR Nappa and Vegeta. That one's a little bit up in the air. That one is a little bit up in the air, but the point is, like, he's supposed to be this super battle road killer, and he's not really even the best for that, right? And then for single target, I mean, he can do okay. You, you, you can see here, he can hold his own, kind of, but he's definitely not super impressive by any means, you know? And, uh... Yeah, I mean, he's just kind of mediocre. He's just kind of like, oh, wh whatever. Like, it, is he terrible? No. Is he good? Not really. And I think that's kind of the issue with him. And also, if you guys really dig into his his kit, right? Like, his, um his passive and all that stuff like it's really counterintuitive because if you look at the bottom part of his passive right here it says that he gets 150 percent defense when facing two or more enemies after receiving an attack so it just makes no sense for him to get all that defense after he takes an attack because he's not that good defensively before he takes a hit you don't want him to take a hit, right? So you don't want to put him in the first slot. But he only gets that defense buff after he takes a hit, which is just really dangerous. If it's a super, you might die before you can take advantage of that defense buff. And, you know, against single target, he hits like a wet noodle unless... Uh, I, I, when I say wet noodle, I mean by, like, new Dokkan Fest standards. He definitely hits, like, a wet noodle. Let's be honest. But, um... You know, you have to have the enemy under 50% to get, like, any kind of respectable damage. So, yeah, his design is just weird. His design is just weird. I, I don't really know what they were thinking when they made this guy. Um, I don't really know if we're going to survive this turn, <laughs> to be honest. Hopefully, Raditz will come through for us here. Um, if we don't, then... Uh, I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, basically in this video, I just wanted to show you guys that like Raditz can be okay. He definitely is not horrible, but he's definitely not great. He's definitely not great. And, you know, considering how Raditz is really not like that hype of a character, right? He's not a character that a lot of people were hoping to get a Dokkan Fest unit, right? There, it was not like a, a character that people were like, yo, I really hope that we get a Dokkan Fest Raditz. Um, you would have thought that maybe... Oh no. Oh no, we're dead. <laughs> Well, this is the perfect ending. 
to this showcase, I think. <laughs> This is the perfect ending to this showcase, what can you say? Um, yeah, you think you, you would have thought maybe they would have made him a lot better. You would have thought maybe they would have made him like ridiculously broken like some other lesser characters out there like Ginyu Goku for example or the new pan on uh, JP or Videl who is still very good in my opinion, like really really strong. And then you have Raditz, and then you have Raditz, who is just not particularly great in any aspect. Even for Super Battle Road, I tested him out in Super Battle Road, he's not that impressive on Super Battle Road. And, I don't know guys, like obviously, um, I'm, I'm still happy that I pulled him. But he seems like a unit that's just going to be collecting dust in my box after this showcase. Because I don't see myself using him much. Uh, for anything, really, until he gets an eventual easy A, I guess, until he eventually gets uh, a an upgrade, May maybe a, a buff of some kind, just like they did for the uh, LR Vegito Blue, although at this point he's been out on JP for so long that I don't see that ever happening, but a man can dream, I guess. A man can dream, but that is your Raditz showcase. That is your Saiyan Saga team showcase. Saiyan Saga team right now, um, at least under a 200% leader skill with the Space Traveling Warriors aspect, it's very limited. So that was the best I could do. Um, I don't really think there are any other options actually outside of what I brought for the Saiyan Saga slash Space Traveling Warriors combination. Of course, you could do like pure Saiyans and Space Traveling Warriors, a lot more options there. But I wanted to do Saiyan Saga just because it's a new category. And yeah, it's not good right now. It's not good right now. Just like the rat, it's, it's very mediocre. So that is the showcase, guys. That is today's video. Let me know in the comments, uh, comments down below what you guys think about Raditz, Nappa, the team. I think Nappa actually is really, really solid. Um, I, I am very impressed by this uh, Nappa's defensive capabilities of course offensively he's not giving you much but his defense is uh definitely impressive i would say for for what he is so um yeah guys that is today's video uh hopefully if you guys were still thinking about maybe summoning for raditz this convinced you to do otherwise because you don't need him for any reason uh <laughs> he's just not <laughs> A great unit guys let's be real he's not really necessary for anything and um yeah that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching uh all hail lord raditz uh <laughs> and hopefully he gets that easy a sooner than later hopefully they expedite it you know they 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 uh rush order the easy a to to make him um, more reasonably powered because right now once again not unusable but not really necessary either not really um, gonna set anyone's world on fire and given the fact that he is a Dokkan best unit you know from like this point of the, the, the game this point of the year uh, he should be a lot better <laughs> It should be okay. That's enough. I'm, I'm talking too much. Let's move on, uh, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.